while I was gone, the Funds Army grew to 400 plus subscribers. Now, if you're new here, I thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Welcome to Team Funds and enjoy your stay. Over here, we're not fanboying over a game. We're not doing anything. We're not being biased. We're going to keep it 100 at all times. And watch this dude right here, man. Come on with the second chance bullshit. Anyways, wait, 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 wait. We didn't do the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing Black Ops 1. Had to take it back a little bit. We got the infield with the suppressor and extended mags. We're already messing up on the intro. We're playing Team Deathmatch, and I'm terrorizing the hell out of these squeakers because they were crying in the pre-game lobby because I terrorized the hell out of them previous game. So I decided to just put my kill streaks away and napalm the hell out of them the whole game. And we went 19 and 8, and I'm only telling you this because at the end, the scoreboard flashes up there fast and goes away. So I'm going to go ahead and fill y'all in right now. But today's topic, and also, I was going because of internet problems, and I also was finding out different ways to improve myself as a commentator. And when I go away for two weeks or so, for a week or two, um, just be, just let it know just let it be known oh my god this commentary rust though this commentary rust y'all gotta excuse me but let it be known if i leave for an extended amount of time it's either internet problems or it's me trying to better myself as a commentator whether it's editing whether it's learning how to do different things with my commentaries and stuff like that but getting back on track we're coming back with a simple video now i see this all around me and it's it's got to do with success and on today's topic i want to talk about success now if this is going to bore you then i do not blame you but today i want to come back with something simple if you enjoy this video make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you already subscribed y'all can keep doing what you've been doing liking and commenting i thank y'all very much and look at that bullshit ass hit detection man that's two things in this game that i do not like is hit detections aren't as solid as ghost and also second chance two things in this game that i would like removed if they ever made this game over again now, i'm pretty sure people got some other problems with the game but compare this to ghost this is way better than ghost um but we're not here to compare this to ghost let's go ahead and talk about these call of duty tryhards though scuff controllers sweaty trying to get chem strike spawn trapping let's not talk about them because why should we talk about them i'm not a cod nerd i don't sit around and, and and go days without showering and and smell like straight ass and sit here and play this game trying to keep my kd up and my win loss record up and trying to be in a clan no i don't care about that because at the end of the day i've seen people with point 482 KDs wreck the whole lobby and they be on my team. They hand every Master Prestige person their ass on a stick. No homo. And I've seen it being done. But today I want to talk about success. If I keep saying this over and over again, somebody's going to get pissed off and get in the comments and say, Well, you said the same thing over and over again. Well, this time I'm going to stick to it success how do you guys define success and better yet um what would you say about people that get success because there's a lot of people out there whether it's on twitch if you don't know what twitch is type in twitch.tv and you'll see a world of gaming all on one website and you probably will become a twitch addict like i am but we're not here to talk about twitch Let's talk about Twitch and YouTube. Okay, Twitch streamers and YouTube commentators. Now, some of these people, when they get really successful, they lose where they came from. It there there comes a point where the average streamer will get, you know, headstrong and they'll just get arrogant and they'll start not looking out for anybody but themselves. And at this point, You'll stop helping smaller commentators. You'll stop associating yourself with smaller commentators. And look at that final kill. And you just become overall a bad person. 
and you just start doing it just to make money and to those people I have to say you guys are the biggest sellouts in the world you fake liking a person when you're down in dirt and then when you get higher you're you know God and beyond so my question to you guys is what do you think about sellouts and what is your definition of success and with that being said I'm going to end this commentary off I know it was light I know it might have been boring but if you like the video like it up subscribe I'm out of here peace out y'all